Adrian reporting for ESCplus.com here in Sakusurhal in the final of ST Level 2019 here with Inga and the song Milina Paev. She's going to perform tomorrow in the yeah. final. Uh, how do you feel, Inga? Nice to meet you. Nice to have you here. Yeah, nice to meet you. I feel uh, pretty fine. I'm a bit ill right now and I'm going to do everything to get better for tomorrow. Tomorrow. So right now after after this I'm going to go home and get some sleep and my mother will come and heal perfect, me a bit. So, so yeah. You deserve it. Tell us a bit what happened today in the first rehearsal. It was really good, by mm -hmm. the way, even though you had to face yeah. some challenges. Can you please tell our viewers what happened? Yeah, there was a uh, couple of things. Again, this illness that happens in Estonia. And, uh, and the second thing is that I felt in the middle of dancing again something wrong okay. with my ankle because I twisted it in the beginning of January. So uh, these were the things that were disturbing a bit. But you need to go on. You need to get everything you can anyway. So, uh, so I guess I hope tomorrow there won't be that kind of problems. For sure, you will be fully recovered, and, or at least we hope, mm -hmm. we cross our fingers for mm -hmm. that. Tell us a little bit more about who is Inga, who is your person, what's your personal story, your personal music background, mm -hmm. and why do you want to represent Estonia in the Eurovision Song Contest? My mother says I started singing before I started talking, and uh, I went to the music school, and actually that was something that that my parents didn't do but but I told them that I get I want to get some knowledge I want to get some basis before I become a singer because I knew from the beginning that I want to be a singer so I studied there a piano then I went uh, after uh, graduating my school I went um, in the college of music where I graduated pop jazz singing this okay. this spring so yeah okay and music is everywhere and why do I want to go uh, to Tel Aviv yeah of course, everybody want to go there. I feel like I'm ready to represent the country. That is something because I uh, participated three years ago with uh, our band here, La La Ladies in Estonia. And then I felt, right now I can compare that, then I felt a bit young or, or um, unsure or uncertain about things. Right now, I feel like... I can do interviews like with you right now. I can perform. I can sing. I can. Uh, I can. Uh... You feel more prepared. Yes. Okay. And how how much are you feeling the love from the international fans and the and the and the people here in Estonia and your friends, family? I do feel the love. I do feel the support, and uh, and that is the most important thing to to see that people are enjoying the song. But uh, I know that there's. A lot of uh, like favorite artists' uh, songs this year. Uh, like we have, uh, let's say, Victor Krohn or Kerli Givilan, who's singing right now, or Stefan or Uku. There are lots of good songs and performers. So, so actually, it's even a surprise for me who's gonna win then and who's gonna go to Tel Aviv. So, yeah, you want to go to Tel Aviv, that's clear. But yeah. tell us why your song, Million and Five, is so special. What got that special, the spe most special thing on it? If we compare it to other songs, the special thing is that it's in Estonian. It's the most unique thing we can bring to Eurovision. We have uh, only two songs amongst uh, 12 songs that are in Estonian. That is something n none of other countries can do. So, yeah. So um, maybe for Estonian Eurovision song that was kind of uh, the tip, no, no that yeah. was a clue because yeah. they, it helped them to, to achieve success yeah. in the competition. Yeah. So maybe they can be like uh, something good for you yeah. and to enhance your performance. Yeah. Actually, I also wanted to ask you what uh, if you have ever talked to any previous Estonian Eurovision singers yeah. and what kind of advice did they tell you in order, like if you, in case you win, what what did they tell you about the Eurovision? How it is a big event there? Mm. Well, I have thought with the artists that have been in Eurovision, but I've never talked to them w about Eurovision. Okay. That's the funny story. But uh, but anyway, I I think they what would they say to me is that you need to uh, you need to st stay yourself. You need to be yourself, and uh, just enjoy. Okay. 
So I guess that's something that you apply yourself yeah. on stage. That is something I do say okay. to myself, yeah. So I wish the very best of luck in the yeah. final. It, in case this, go, this doesn't go further this time, I hope to see you again yeah, in the future in the too, competition, too, yeah. for sure. And um, yeah, uh, if you want to send uh, a message to our viewers on, on the escplus.com website, yeah. uh, feel free to do it now. Yeah, so the only thing I want to say is... Uh, if you don't understand the song, I just uh, hope that I can uh, bring your emotions uh, with the performance and my own mood. So just enjoy and uh, and be yourselves. Yeah. Thank you very much, Inga. I hope the best. Yeah, thank you thank very you. much.